Logan Kane here, and I'm going to do another one of those little Caden Live things like I did last time, except this time it's going to be more about... hopefully better. Uh, oh, that's the goal. Uh, the goal is to be better. Anyway, Config Wizard. This is probably what you're going to see when you first start up. Click Next. You make sure you have installed modules and codecs. Let you figure that out on your own. This is the important part. When you first set up, figure out what you want to record in, and make sure you have the correct standard. If you don't... If you try to put a 720p video in at 25 frames per second, it's going to be completely screwed up if Caden Live's expecting 1080p at 30. So make sure you have that right. All this stuff is default, and default is fine, unless you want to put a specific place for your project folder. If you want to show the camera, I don't need to care. None of that matters to me. But it does do Blackmagic deck links for some reason. Whatever. Finish. We're here. Awesome. Now the first thing I'm going to do is remove these extra videos because I'm gonna have one video and two audios and now what I'm gonna do is save right away because I know what happens if I don't save right away if Caden Live crashes and you don't have a save file I don't know how to recover what you lost if you do have a save file and you try to load that save file you'll recover it pretty flawlessly now you'll notice this these are my default simple re screen recorders but for Zulima 11 something Simple screen recorder kind of crashed during it. You know what? Screw it. Cancel. Just remove it. We're not going to do... We're, we're just not going to do 11. I'll have to run through AVID Mux again. Something to fix it. Because it's it screwed up. It crashed while I was doing that. Pretty sure I can recover it, though. So what we're going to do is go with episode 12. I grabbed the wrong item. I grabbed the video that I'm... Or the video. Yeah, the video. The video that I'm making right now is the one that I put in there. Whoops. All right, this should be 12. There we go, that's a little bit better. So we'll throw that down there, we throw this down here, and if you look over here, where my mouse is on the bottom, middle-ish, it's loading all the sound frequencies and whatnot. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click here, press space, and I'm gonna wait for my click. Boom, 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 boom. We're gonna start the recording in three, two, one, start. Well, I said start that time. Then bring this up to the line and try and get in, where did I start? So I guess about here? Eh, we'll put it here. Close enough. I said I drew that out. You should try and make your click as fast as possible. Because apparently that makes it difficult. And then, I just kind of go through it. Oh, right. Add effect to this right away, because Simple Screen Recorder, in OBS as well, it's going to be incredibly loud. And you're probably going to be able to hear it if it hits before I get this... Yeah. In fact, I want to make sure this is all the way up so you guys can hear it. So I'm going to volume keyframe this and change it to 10. Press enter. Bam. Don't have to listen to that loudness anymore. So we're going through, and by looking down here, I can tell where I started. That was a false start. Okay, so I click back. I know that's where I started. I hit space to pause, hold control, zoom in with the mouse wheel. Maybe get a little closer. Zoom in with the mouse wheel again. Press X, click, click, press S, so I can select this, click, delete, click, delete. Got rid of all that back stuff. I'm going to hit space again and make sure I didn't screw it up too bad. Awesome. Sounding good. I've already grabbed all of the so I'm going to jump ahead here, zoom in. Look how terrible this game is. Jeez. Uh, uh, anyway, be back. So yeah, I said I'll be back. I guess I was speeding through here. I wasn't really paying attention. But anyway, we cut both those spots. And it's only this game that I get weird lag times like this in Caden Live. Everything else, this doesn't happen. I don't know why it's doing this weird lag stuff. Did I save? Yes, I did make a save. So it looks like I wanted to start talking again about there. Back it off just a little bit, just in case. I don't want to accidentally squelch myself at all. And I delete the audio track, because it doesn't matter. I select this one and remove the volume keyframe, because it doesn't matter anymore. Go to Add Effect, right-click on it, go to Add Effect, Motion, Speed. Make sure it's selected, then I go up here and change to 800. Whoops and then press enter. 
hold control, use the mouse wheel to scroll out. I'm trying to remember to say everything I do so people understand the shortcuts and whatnot. And then I bring Catcock in. And this was a song that was recorded on a Tascom 4-track recorder, I do believe. A, on a tape. On one of those old speed tapes a long, long time ago. So I go to audio correction and then normalize, and I change it to 20. This normalizes the track, which is makes it less up and down, makes it sound better. And the 20% makes it quieter. But yeah, and then I guess it was recorded over a microphone into a computer. It's crazy. So I want to hold control. Oh, actually, i got to bring this thing over here and wait for it. Hold control and zoom in a bit. Okay, I'm looking here. I want it to start two or three seconds in, so I put it there. And then I go for the very corner here, because I don't want it to just start blaring right away. I want it to fade in. And then I come over here and basically do the same thing for a fade out. So a few seconds out. It doesn't have to be an exact spot, unless you really want it to be. Maybe zoom in a bit. Make sure. Yeah, it's like three seconds. That's good. I try to make it so that the pink is at about half when my voice starts again. Because I don't want people, I think it would be very annoying to have to listen to this being very loud over my voice. And I'm, this is also very annoying, trying to find the fade thing. My voice doesn't start till like there, so I can get away with that. Now, again, this is going to lag. This never happened when I was making Paper Sorcerer. Control S. Got to save a lot. But it's going to start lagging when I get to the speed part. Anyway, be back. And then it has a nice. Zo uh, fade in. Again, it's only this game that does this weird stuttering stuff while doing the speed stuff. Once the speed stops, it stops doing it. It's weird. And then that fades out. Then I, then I hold control. And I, well, I just paused it with spacebar, but I hold control and pull my mouse wheel out so I can get this thing out of the way. And then I go back to just playing. Holding control to zoom back in. I'm looking for little breaks in my voice to find out where the uh, battle start. Is, it, is that where the battle started? Where did the battle start? Oh, I held control to pull out. Ha. Now, I love saying this game was hard, but that's, that's oh, right. That's right. I uh, I was speaking through that loading screen. Fuck you, Gollin. And I didn't quick save before that fight, so I'll be back. Well, I said I'd be back, so I was just going to cut this, I think. Actually, no. I was gonna. I'm gonna speed run this one. This is gonna be another speed. As, as you can hear right here, I was really upset when I found out how long it had been since I saved. Fuck. <laughs> well, anyway, I can see that I, I don't. I purposely try not to talk to myself or anybody else or the dog or the cats. So I see this nice clean area, and I ju I know that I'm not gonna start talking again to about here. And again, I just pause it. Get a little bit closer. Cut, cut. Oh, right. I press C. I press C. I pressed X, I mean, to bring up the cutter, and I clicked on the right side of my line, so we'll cut right on the line. And then I press S, so I get back to the selector. Click on that. Press Delete. Click on that. Kill the volume keyframe, because the volume goes away when you do motion. Go to speed. Turn this up to 800 again. Or just like last time, I guess it's not again. Pull this over. Pull this over. Scroll out some more. Grab this. By the way, hold control and use the mouse wheel to scroll out. Bring this about there. Bring the this dealie. I don't know what it's called. The needle thing. Bring that back here. Let's see. This this is in like 10 second instrument. Dang it. Yeah, if you click down here, it'll move that too. And I actually don't like that because I accidentally do it all the time. Damn it. There it goes again. I just want to move this thing. All right. So I want to go a few seconds in, line that up there, pull in the fade. That should be good. Come back over here and zoom in again. So let's see, this is... I'm doing the zoom in and zoom out again, control mouse wheel. So go to 4 seconds, what is this, 420, 425. It's going a little bit more. 1920, oh wait, are these frames? Those are frames. I want seconds, not frames. There we go. Yeah, that's good enough. I don't I don't care that much. Then I hold control and scroll all the way in. Press X. Cut it. Press S. Come way out. 
move that out of the way again, the way back in, grab this, and I guess I could have had that longer, so I don't really need to fade it out as much as I normally do, because I have all this dead air. So, let's see what happened. And I didn't quick save before that fight, so I'll be back. Yep, there it goes into its lagging. It doesn't lag when there's loading screens, I've noticed. Man, this is so sad. I like listening to this song a lot. But when this is happening, it's just not possible. Oh, if you control S to save or something, Caden Live automatically pauses when you do that. Don't know why. And I'm back. I'm going to go ahead and jump into this, because otherwise, this is just not going to work. Okay, so we're going to keep going through this. Absolutely. Click, click, click. I guess I could zoom out a bit. I don't really see an obvious spot where I stop talking. Maybe here? No. Maybe here? Okay. There it is. Hit space. Hold control. Zoom in with the mouse wheel. Cut, X. Cut. Cut. Back out. Selector. Control Z. Control Z. Because I talked through that. All right. Since I talked through that, I don't need to worry about it. That one I did not. Then I hit space, X, click, click, space. And then just, uh, I guess I should back it up a bit. If you want to be more professional, don't do what I do and just cut straight into the, straight into the fight. Try and cut at the end of the loading screen. There's the end of the loading screen. That way, when you cut here... Oh, that wasn't good enough. That's weird. Let's go here. 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 There we go. Good enough. So, if we take a look at this, this is still what? Doesn't it tell me somewhere? No, it doesn't. So we got, what, 35 seconds to about, oh, I have that cut there. I don't want that. Control Z, 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 X. Fuck. Control Z. Uh, this is aggravating sometimes when you're fucking up constantly. Anyway, I am back on the anyways. That's about five seconds of dead time that the viewer doesn't have to see. So I just cut that right out. And then since I'm trying to do it a light, bit more professional, see that? Five minutes went real quick. And he's fast. He's a fast troll. Cause he's a fast, fast mother beep. He's very, All very right. fast. I just went and deleted the remaining bits of Catcock because I don't think I'll be using it. And this is probably about where I die. No? Oh, yeah, that's right. I ended with... So, yeah, I died. There's no more editing really to be done. I'm just talking to the audience at this and point. And then I get to here. Enjoy. And that's my normal sign off. Hold control, scroll all, the, scroll all the way in, press X, click, click, press S, click, delete, click, delete. Scroll out. Now, you notice how I left this big space here. If I leave that, oh, save. If I leave that space there, it will be in the video. I just do it this way because I don't like to keep moving it over and over again. So when I'm done editing the video, I press control A. Selects it all, left click on any one of them, boom, move it all the way over. Done. Control S. Now, that's about it. Control space. It just does that when you start at the beginning. The I don't know what an outpoint is. And I'm actually, if you notice on the left, I'm over right okay, it seems like it started out pretty well. What about over here? I usually go into my cuts too, but I'm not going to do that for the purposes of this video. No point. So I want to get to the end. Until next time, everyone. Enjoy. Okay, everything. I hit space to pause it. Everything looks good. So one more save. If oh, it's already saved, then I press Control and Enter. That brings up the rendering part. File rendering websites. I use this. It's just a modification of WebM. You could just use WebM really, or Theora, or Flash, whatever you want to use. That that goes beyond the scope of this. That's encoding stuff. And then click here. Come on. There you go. Go to edited. Go to your last save or whatever. This is episode 12. 
and then I press OK. And then normally, and then this is where I'd click Render to File. However, I'm not quite ready to do that because I want to use this computer for other things when I'm using six. And, oh, yeah, right here you can set the number of encoding threads. So I'm using th six threads. If I do this now, it's going to be screwed up. And i got to fix that other file, like I mentioned. But yeah, that, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps somebody. Enjoy!